So these are all the boots we're working with. Lots of Sorrells. Those are the Ugg pair. And then a couple that are not white. But we're probably going to end up with a white pair. Okay, don't mind the heavy breathing. <laughs> Putting on these boots was a workout. <laughs> they are so cute though. Um, if there's one thing that the boot brine process has taught me, it is that I do not like boots that require me to sweat <sighs> or like really work hard to get them on. And that's these. I think they're so stinking cute, but I really wish they were easier to put on. These are the Sorel boots that I really, really loved when I saw them online. But again, they're just too hard to put on, so I definitely won't keep them. I love that they have like a patent leathery feel to them. And um, this is probably the highest I could go in terms of calf. This is gonna be like right at the mid part of my calf. So the highest boot uh, of all the ones that I got to try. Super cute though. Love the little red detailing too. Just wish they were easier to put on. Okay, on to boot two. These ones already look so much easier to put on. They just have a Velcro strap um, and you just slide your foot in. So let's give it a try. Oh my gosh, look at that. Such ease. Okay, so I'm not sure which Sorel boot brand this is, style I mean, but they are really cute. I don't know how I feel about the black and white. I really thought I was going to like it, um, but I don't love it as much as I thought I would. I still think they're super cute. I kind of wish I would have bought them in the all black color um, because the black and white isn't really working for me. These are so comfortable. They feel like you're walking on clouds. Um, they're extremely easy to put on, which clearly I love. Um, they are a little on the shorter side. They're probably the shortest boot, I think, of all of the ones that I got. But I think that works for me because I'm not really walking in, you know, feats of feats um, over a foot of snow. Uh, so I don't really think that that's really necessary for me to have a super tall boot. I like that they feel more sneaker-like and they're just so comfy, like very, very comfortable. They have great traction on the bottom, which is super important for me. I think that's probably the most important piece to a shoe is that it has good traction. Um, but I, I don't know. These are cute, but I think I wish I would have tried them in the all black. These are the Cougar waterproof boot that are supposed to keep you warm in under 24 degree Celsius, negative 11 degree Fahrenheit weather. Um, they're higher as well, so we're going to try to get them. Okay, these are actually really easy to put on. Love that. And let's get them laced up. Okay, so I actually really like these. I'm quite surprised that I do because they are probably the most <laughs> mountainy, like industrial boot that I got. They're not quite as like fashion forward, but they do feel very on trend. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but they've got that puffy material up top. I do like that it's slightly shiny, um, but it's definitely, they're industrial. These like feel like you're going to do some business in them. Like, I don't know what, but I like them a lot. I, I just think they're a little more, to me, they feel more masculine than the other boots that I've tried. Not that that's a bad thing by any means. I just don't, I don't know if it's my vibe. They come in a couple other colors too, and I'm kind of tempted to see if I can try them in a different color um, just because I like them, but I don't know how I feel about the black. Um, these are the warmest of all the boots that I got to try. They are by a brand called Cougar Round. And <laughs> um, what I like about them is that they're super, super warm. They have this really cute blue lining inside and I love the little lace detailing. I do think the blue and the lace detailing kind of adds that little bit more of like 
a less masculine vibe to them but they definitely are they're something um these I ordered in a size nine and I feel like I probably could have gone with my normal eight and a half size but I do like them these look like they're gonna be easy to put on oh yeah that's not too bad at all love this like nautical string so cute. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Mia, can you can you just watch out? Watch out. <laughs> um these. Ah! I think they're actually my favorite, which is so funny because this was the pair that I was contemplating not ordering because they don't have like any kind of puffer element to it, but they do have a Sherpa tongue, which is beyond cute. And I love the little red detailing on the laces and that they have um, like more of a nautical lace to them. They have that red back. The traction is 10 out of 10. Oh, these are cute. I think these might be so far the winners for me. I don't know. I really, really love these. Um, they are waterproof as well. The bottom, whole bottom part, I don't know if you can tell here, like down here where you see this line, this is all completely waterproof. Um, so you don't have to worry about anything getting your feet wet or anything along those lines. I just really like these. I'm so surprised because like I said online, these were not, like they really weren't even a contender at all. But I like a lot. I can tell you right now, I already tried these on yesterday. Don't love that there's like literally hardly any traction at the bottom. And they are so hard to put on. But I'm going to try for you guys just so you can see my dilemma. Oh my god. They do have, I will say. Oh, that was actually easier today than it was yesterday. Um, they have these loops at the back, which is helpful for snugging them on. Do you see her? <laughs> okay, so I would say these are probably my least favorite of all the boots that I've tried for a couple reasons. These ones, sorry, they were really a workout to put on. That second boot was a no joke. Um, these boots in particular remind me the most of something that I wore in elementary school. So I guess if you have that like nostalgia for, you know, elementary you, these might be a good option. They are so, so comfortable though. Like they're probably the most comfortable in terms of any of the ones that I've tried on, like in terms of really feeling cloud-like. They have a super cute puffy detailing, which I do like a lot. This says Sorrel up on the sides. Um, as I would not be able to get these on if it weren't for the loops. I literally was like pulling so hard to get them on. Um, but the thing that I really don't like is that there is almost no traction on the bottom. So if you are walking on ice or anything slippery, these are not going to work for you. If you live in a warmer climate, they might be a little too warm because my feet feel hot. Um, so I don't know. I just don't think that these work for what I personally need. But it depends on where you live and what you're doing. Um, it's pretty icy here in the winter. And I don't like to slip and fall. So these are not, these are probably not going to work at all. But they're cute. This is the last pair. These are super little shorties. Um, not too bad to put on. That's pretty easy. Cute. Okay, last but not least, these are from UGG. I, <laughs> I really like these. So in all honesty, I was definitely going for the puffer look when I was looking for my boots, like I mentioned. And the two pairs that I thought were going to be my top contenders were the ones I'm wearing now. And then these Sorel boots. Those were the two that I was like, oh, those are my favorites. It's what I'm absolutely going to love. Um, like I said, I didn't really care for the white and black 
duo tone of those Sorel boots, but I really like the way it's done here. Um, and I think it's because it doesn't have that strap on top that's like that stark black strap. And I also surprisingly love that it has this like tan grayish color as well. They are waterproof. They are super warm. They actually feel like you don't need to wear socks with them because they have that same like Sherpa lining, whatever Ugg lines their boots with, except this is actually a vegan option. So if you're not into, um, you know, the Ugg tradition of using animal products for the shoes. These are completely vegan, um, so that's a good thing to consider. The one thing that I kind of am concerned about is that the bottom sole, it, it doesn't feel as, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, let me see, can you see here? It doesn't feel quite as um, maybe sturdy, industrial, I don't know what the right word is, as the Sorel ones do. These definitely feel more, like the bottom feels more foamy. I do think that they would still have good traction. Um, I actually really like these quite a bit. I didn't know if I liked them yesterday, but now that I'm looking at them on with an outfit, and I think that I would wear these quite a bit. Basically, for me, what I'm looking for in a winter boot is something that is easy to put on, and that like I can walk outside with Mia in because we go on walks every single day. So I really think I have two contenders that I absolutely love, which are these and um, the other Sorel boots that I did not think I was going to like at all. So those are the two that I really think I like the most. And honestly, I think in looking at the video footage of what everything looks like on me, I liked the ones that were the hardest to put on as well. <laughs> which were these, and they also have great traction. So, I don't know, I got some thinking to do, but cute options for sure. She must seriously want something. She looks so rough, she needs a pony. <laughs> what is it, Mimi?